What's good, Easy Fam? It's your boy, Easy Dubs TV Man, and I'm back at it with another banger. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as we are on the road to 15K subs, but I can't do it without you, gang. So make sure you hit that subscribe, it's free. And I already checked my analytics, the majority of you guys aren't even subscribed. And make sure you turn on post notifications so that way you don't miss out on any other content here on the channel and smash that like button. Let's try to get the video up to at least 20 likes, man. I know y'all can do it, man. Easy fam, y'all always stand up strong and proud. So hit that like button for your boy. Now, the mindset of this build that y'all about to see is I have tons of point guards, right? I got a 6'8", I got a 6'7", I got a 6'9". And don't get me wrong, all those builds are fine. But one of my problems is when I go into wreck with randoms, I'm literally not the PG. Or when I play with other people, I'm not the PG. I want to truly be the point guard. So I started thinking to myself, how would I make a build? A 6-1. I know. Gasp real quick. Because <gasps> we all know that Dubs hates 6-1 builds. For the most part. I haven't played with really any competent ones. I know they are out there, but the majority of people who make them are trash. I, I can't lie. So or at least they don't know how to use it to its full potential. So I started thinking to myself, I know I can, so let me make a build that's truly one of a kind. Make sure you stay locked in all the way throughout the video so that way you know how to make this build exactly because this did take me a long time to lab. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is gonna make them a point guard. We go with the right hand. You can make them left hand, but I always rock the right hand. Y'all already know my favorite number, 14. It's just that simple. We're not 15, 14. 2K trying to be slick. Okay, and then you're going to go 6'1 for the height. You're going to go 169 for the weight. And then you're going to go 6'7 for the wingspan. And then we're going to change this body shape to slide just because, I don't know. I feel like it's a little point guard thing to do. Now, make sure you stay locked in throughout all the things I'm about to do, okay? Because we're going to max out everything real quick. I'll go back through and slow it down and kind of break things down a little bit. And then I'll show you guys the badges and how the way I got things set up, okay? So, we're going to go 78 with the close shot. We're going to go 81 with the driving layup. We're going to go 86 with the driving dunk. Okay. And then you're going to get a 78 mid-range. A 92 three ball. And then you're going to bring your free throw down to a 67. Pass accuracy, we're going up to a 79. Ball handle, we're going up to a 94. And then speed of ball, we're going to leave it at 79. Perimeter defense, we're going up to an 88. Steel, we're going up to an 85. And then we're going to leave our rebound and everything else alone. Acceleration, we're going to go up to a 90. Speed, we're going to go up to an 80. Vertical, we're going to go up to a 75. And then the rest goes into stam. So you should have a 94 stand. Now, if you made the build correctly, you should have 22 finishing, 24 shooting, 24 playmaking, and then 21 defense. Guys, I don't think you guys have ever seen anything like this. Look at this. So this is a grand total of 91 badges. Let that set in. This build has 91 badges. And as you can see, we're not lacking in any department. 78 close shot that was just to get more finishing badges but you're going to be able to finish around the rim so if you ever get someone off their feet you can go straight up with it and you'll be have a good little good little chance of making it especially being 6-1 you know you got to use whatever weapons you got but you get an 81 driving layup obviously the 81 is just for the badge point but 80 driving layup is crazy because you're 6-1 you get hall of fame giant slayer and if you've ever seen anybody who's little go up with layups and you're like how's that not getting blocked how's that not getting contested it's hall of fame giant slayer it's going to activate on pretty much everybody because everyone is bigger than you then the 86 driving dunk so you still can get that gold limitless takeoff and some contact dunks and then you get a 78 mid range that's just for the extra shooting badge you could have went with a 93 three ball but I ain't gonna make too much of a difference, so I just went with the mid-range on this one. But you get a 92 three ball, so you still get gold binders, gold agent threes, and limitless. So you're gonna be able to fade, shoot from deep, do whatever you need to do, and since you're so little, you get that Steph Curry base, which is high key the best base in the whole game. We already know that. 79 pass accuracy, so you're still gonna get those zip passes, and you get that LeBron James passing style with silver bailout. Now, 
a lot of people may be looking at this and go, why don't you go 95 just so you can get the Hall of Fame unpluckable? And it's because, quite honestly, I think you'll be fine with a 94. And if you went up to a 95, you don't even get a badge point. But if you go down to a 93, you see you lose a badge point. So I just went with the 94. It's going to be perfect. Main thing is that you're going to get that um, Steph Curry size up escape now because you need a 92 ball handle for that. So you'll be able to curry slide and do everything like and you're going to be moving quick. You still get that 79 speed of ball. So you get the Jordan dribble style. This is probably where it's a little bit different. The 88 perimeter defense. So obviously you don't want to be on ball 24 seven, especially with these bigger builds when it comes to trying to mash you. But you can keep up with them because you got an 88 perimeter defense. Now I've had like an 88 to an 87 on all my builds this year. And I've been completely fine when it comes to guarding ball. So 88 perimeter defense is going to be just fine with an 85 still. So you'll still be able to like, if you have to go and let's say for your team, you have to go sit in the corner or that's what you want to do because you're running with a lot. You can sit in that corner and you got that silver interceptor still to help you out with those passing lane steals. And they're not going to be able to just bully you either because you can run Hall of Fame off ball pass. Now, I don't know how well that's going to do on a 6-1 because, you know, all my other builds are bigger and I like it when it's on a bigger build. So we'll have to see an experiment with that, but you'll still be just fine on defense. And then you still get your 80 speed, your 90 acceleration, which is going to be crucial to that fast movement. And with Hall of Fame quick first step, and then all the different moves you'll be able to get because you have that 94 ball handle, you'll be just fine getting around the court and being able to beat your opponent. 75 versus that way you still get all the contact dunks and a 94 stamp. It's not 95, but that's pretty good because you still have like gym rat and everything. So, you know, you'll be able to go crazy. And then for takeovers, you get shot creating, sharp, playmaking, and lock. Now, me personally, when I'm running on this build, I'm probably just going to rock out like, you know, pull up precision and limitless. This build correctly, you should get shades of Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. I hope I said that right. Darius Garland and Damian Lillard for a two way inside out creator. Yes. Two-way inside-out creator, not shot creator, inside-out creator. <sighs> truly different, man. Truly, truly one of a kind. And you get 91 badges. Now, if you complete the My Career Storyline when you become a starter, that's four badges. I hit level 40 in the first two seasons, so I got two extra badge points. And so I'm going to go ahead and jump onto my build, show you guys what I did with those badge points and kind of what my mindset is when it comes to this build. And then we're going to go over some highlights and then I'm going to end off the vid. So be back in one sec. So here we are on our two way inside out creator with my six extra badge points. What I decided to do was put three into my shooting and three into my playmaking. So now I have a grand total of 22 finishing, 27 shooting, 27 playmaking and 21 defense for a grand total of 97 badges. Yes, I said it. This build has 97 badges. By the, before, matter of fact, before they even like the end of the year comes around, I'll have over a hundred badges on this build. Let that set in. I have over a hundred badges on this build before it's all said and done. It. Like, you know, as far as this year in 2K's lifespan. So look at that. These stats are ridiculous. And then not to mention animation based I'm gonna be able to get everything, you know? Let me go to animation store. I'm gonna be able to get, you know, the curry dribble style. Or I'll be able to get like John Moran or, but you guys get, you guys get the whole point of this, right? Like I'm gonna be able to go into the wreck and do whatever I need to do. I'm gonna be able to go to threes and do whatever I need to do. Hell, if I go to twos, I'll still be just fine. Now, 1v1 court, that's kind of questionable as long as it's like, you know, make it taken. It's not like in the theater where you got to give it back. You should be fine because like as long as you don't miss. But quite honestly, you have so many weapons at your disposal. How are you going to miss? Like you're going to be able to dunk. You're going to be able to shoot. You're going to be able to lay it up like this build is just crazy. Hey, so if you found the video helpful, if you found this video entertaining or just made you go, huh? Yeah, I got to make this build. Please, please, please everybody make sure to hit that like button for me subscribe if you're new and make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any other content here on the channel because until later on the night where i'm gonna be over on twitch same thing as my youtube name easy dub cb spell the same exact way and everything so y'all make sure to go drop a follow 
shameless plug but hey until later on the night y'all where you can definitely catch me in a live stream it's been your boy easy dubs tv and uh y'all take care man i love all y'all much love as always peace